Right. If you have your Bibles, turn to Titus chapter 2. chapter 2. I'm going to go ahead and just read the whole chapter. It's 15 verses. Um, but speak thou things which become sound doctrine that the aged man be, so, be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. The aged, women, the aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false Accusers, not given to much wine, too much wine. Teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their hus their own husbands, that the word of God may not be blasphemed. Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded in all things, showing themselves, thyself, a pattern of good works in doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravi gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is in the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say to you. Say of you, exhort the servants of, exhort the servants to be obedient unto their own masters, and to please them well in all things, not answering again, not purloining, but showing all good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of God our Savior in all things. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for the blessed, the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke all, rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Okay, so what I'm going to kind of talk about today kind of got me uh, a little ticked off. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and read uh, verse 12 again. Teaching us that denying uh, denying ungodliness and worldly lust that we should live soberly and righteously and godly in this present world. Um, I, I got pretty kind of caught on to the collar yesterday uh, when we went to Walmart, but we're supposed to be examples for our children. And I went, me and Katie had to go to the Walmart for something. Um, but we had walked by uh, the book section at Walmart. And let me tell you about that. It's nothing but trash, reprobate. It's terrible. Um, not only is there a book telling you, or books telling you that it's fine to be gay and live in your sin, but this is what ticked me off. Uh, there's a book. I can't remember the name of the author. I don't care. Um, it's called... Uh, Daddy likes his beer. And, oh, that just got me so mad. Um, I, I sat there and I looked, I looked through the book. And it's like, well, mommy likes her purses, I like my toys, and daddy likes his beer. Um, 
It's, uh, it's just getting me mad right now. Um, but what ticked me off the most is this isn't just some like what what I back when I was a kid we called them chapter books. Didn't have no picture. This is a cardboard book meant for babies. And if at that point, if you're reading this stuff to your babies and to your kids, you're sending them to hell with you. Yeah. And oh, that, uh, it's it's terrible that people even really people even with reprobate mindset can still see the damage that alcohol does to homes and families and individual people, but they don't care. They don't care because they want to have a good time and they want to, they, they think that, that that moment of them being drunk is, is going to make them feel better. Because it pushes off the, and pushes off that feeling that they have of that, and then it numbs them. But that little moment that you have here is nothing to the eternity that you have to deal with because you decided to make that choice. But what, what makes me so mad is that this is a book meant for children. And I, I'll never get it. I'll never understand why you see a book that says daddy likes his beer and think I'm going to read that to my kids. Yeah. And what's worse is I, like I said, I, I went through the whole book and it'll say, well, like I like my toys. Mommy likes her purses. Daddy likes his beer. But at the end, daddy falls asleep and mommy picks it up. So if you can't lead your family right, you're sending the rest of them to hell with you. Because then mommy picks it up, and then baby picks it up, and then you've done jacked up the whole thing. All of them are, are going to go to hell. Amen. Because of the decisions that you made, because you could not get it together and put that stuff down. You ought to get right with God and come in here and tell him that you're sorry for even jacking with it. Amen. That's right. But... I'd like to do a little something different to kind of dismiss us. Um, can we have all the little ones come up here at the altar? I, I'd like to, uh, everybody to pray a little bit. After seeing that, I didn't. we really got to start taking our, uh, our responsibility as parents a lot more serious. All the parents, too. Go ahead. You know. 